If you've been dumping compost onto your garden year after year and still battling hard soil, weak growth, or stubborn weeds, you're about to discover something that can flip your soil health faster than any store-bought amendment. What if the real secret wasn't adding more compost, but protecting the soil you already have with two everyday materials sitting in your recycling bin? Today on Crop Corner, we're diving into a method so simple and so powerful that many gardeners say it outperforms expensive fertilizers, quick-fix soil boosters, and even freshly added compost. Sheet mulching, done the right way, might just be the soil revival trick you've been missing. Let's get straight into it because this technique is too important to waste a single growing season. Why sheet mulching transforms soil faster than compost alone. Compost is incredible, but most gardeners unknowingly let half its potential go to waste. When you spread compost on bare soil, sun, wind, and microbes quickly break it down, leaving the soil exposed again. Sheet mulching flips the script. By covering the soil with newspaper or cardboard, you instantly create the dark, moist, cool environment that soil biology needs to wake up. Worms return, fungi start weaving networks, and microbes begin consuming the carbon-rich layers above them. As those layers decompose, enzymes and organic acids drip into the soil and turn compacted dirt into soft, dark humus, far more effectively than compost alone ever could. This is where the showdown begins. Newspaper and cardboard may look similar on the surface, but they behave very differently underground. Choosing the right one, or knowing how to combine them, is what creates jaw-dropping soil transformation. Newspaper, the fast-acting soil booster for gardeners who want results now. If you need quick soil improvement for vegetable beds or new annual planting areas, newspaper is your secret weapon. When layered 6 to 10 sheets thick and soaked with about 1 to 2 gallons of water per square yard, Newspaper becomes a breathable carbon layer that blocks sunlight but welcomes moisture and air. Microorganisms digest it almost immediately. Within just a few weeks, you'll see the signs of life returning. Worm tunnels, fungal threads, soil softening. You can practically feel the soil loosening as the biology beneath the paper begins its work. When topped with a thick mulch layer, heat and moisture stay locked in place, and decomposition speeds up even more. Newspaper disappears quickly, usually within a season, which is exactly what makes it perfect for rapid transformation. If your soil needs an emergency revival, newspaper gives you that jump start. Cardboard is truly the long-term soil architect that can reshape even the toughest ground. If you're dealing with deep compaction, aggressive weeds, or maybe even worn-out soil that feels like concrete, cardboard is honestly the powerhouse you need. Its corrugated layers act just like an insulating blanket, especially when you soak them with about 1 to 2 gallons of water per square yard. It settles tightly onto the soil and does a great job of blocking even those persistent weeds. The real magic of cardboard is in its slow, steady breakdown. Over 4 to 6 months, worms will gather between the soil and the cardboard, right where humidity collects. They pull pieces downward, digesting them and carrying carbon exactly where it's needed most. This slow-release carbon feed improves water infiltration, reduces compaction, and helps perennial roots dig much deeper. For no-dig gardens, orchards, and long-lived garden beds, cardboard is just unmatched in maintaining moisture and suppressing weeds. Just remember to avoid glossy or coated cardboard so you don't slow down the natural decomposition process. Here's where the showdown gets truly exciting. In direct comparisons, newspaper wins when speed matters, and cardboard wins when durability is the priority. But, Gardeners who want the richest, most biologically active soil don't choose just one, they combine both. This hybrid method unlocks steady soil improvement that really lasts. In fact, this is the method many expert gardeners quietly swear by. First, lay down a layer of newspaper directly on the soil. It fires up microbial activity almost instantly. Then, on top of that, add a layer of cardboard, which provides long-term structure and moisture retention. Finish it off with mulch. This setup actually mimics the natural layering of a forest floor, fast decaying material above slow decaying material, all protected by an organic cover. The result? A system that feeds your soil in waves. The newspaper decomposes first, spiking microbial growth. Months later, the cardboard breaks down, delivering a second surge of carbon. This creates a sustained release of nutrients and a long-lasting improvement to your soil's architecture. Whether you're working with sandy soil, 
clay, or even neglected ground, the hybrid method delivers consistent results and transforms dead dirt into thriving soil. So, here's how to do sheet mulching the right way every single time. Start by clearing the area so your materials can lay flat against the soil. Place your newspaper or cardboard directly onto the ground, making sure to overlap the edges so no light sneaks through. This step is key because it prevents weed breakthroughs. Next, soak the layers thoroughly. It really does take a good amount of water to activate decomposition, so don't hold back. Once everything is wet and settled, top it all with mulch. Compost, straw, shredded leaves, or grass clippings all work beautifully. The mulch keeps the system moist, shields it from sunlight, and encourages microbial activity. If you want to plant right away, just cut holes that are big enough for your seedlings. But if you're building a new bed from scratch, give the system a few months to break down before planting season begins. After that, your only job is to keep adding organic matter on top. No digging, no flipping, no disturbing the soil. Over time, you're actually building a living, breathing soil ecosystem right beneath your boots. So, why does this method matter for every gardener? This showdown was never about picking a winner. It's really about giving you the knowledge to use each material wisely so you can regenerate soil that stays fertile year after year. When you understand how newspaper and cardboard feed the soil differently, you gain control over the way your garden grows. You can choose speed or longevity, or use both to get the best of both worlds. And the best part is, all of it comes from materials you already have at home. So before you spread another load of compost, try protecting your soil with sheet mulching. It works faster, lasts longer, and builds healthier soil than a lot of commercial products out there. If you found this guide helpful and you want more powerful, low-cost soil building strategies, make sure you subscribe and share this with fellow gardeners who want to grow smarter, healthier, and more naturally. Your soil and your harvest will thank you.